Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Hello, sports fans. As I know, I'm back with another card opening video for entertainment. Happy Saturday to all of you. Today, we have the brand new 2024 Big League Baseball. And the awesome thing about this box is that it's two boxes. So we're going to enjoy these two boxes together. And I hope that you are having an awesome day. Please like the video while I go ahead and get this first box open. It really, really, really helps the channel to grow. It means a lot. And if you're new here and you like what you see, pop that subscribe button because I'm going to bring you awesome content every single day of the rest of your life. All right, we got a couple Yankees to lead off. Boo to that because I'm a Sox fan, but it's cool. Aaron Judge to the moon and the former Red Sox great Alex Verdugo. This is just a fun little rip. It's not too expensive. And ooh, there's Shohei and the Dodgers Uni. And as a result, Frelick can go in the orchestra. The cards are not super valuable, but it's fun. It's a fun rip, and baseball cards are supposed to be fun, so why not? Seems like we got a couple backwards-facing cards, or one backwards-facing card, and then into the regular card this year. You are not guaranteed. Ooh, nice Ellie. You are not guaranteed. Whoa, back-to-back -back Ellie. Let's go. Let's go. Really love those two Ellie De La Cruz cards right back to back. That is that is very big league. Hey, see what I did there? All right. George Kirby foil. Looks like we got some kind of red card coming up. Looks like an insert. I don't think it's a red parallel. Maybe it is a red parallel. Is it a red parallel of Griffey? No, it's some kind of insert of Griffey, I think. Yeah. TBL2. So, just full disclosure, um, we're a little late posting this, and you guys have probably seen this product by now, if you watch any other baseball card channels, which I'm sure many of you do. All right, there's each euro. So these seem to be, seems to be an insert set of Mariners. Haven't had a lot of opportunity to research this set. Haven't had an opportunity to open this set. Torque foil because we have had a relative in the hospital and it's been, that's a cool rookie card of Jason. It's been uh, not the best week or easiest week. So um, appreciate you guys staying with me and there's a nice Caminero rookie. I usually try to get this stuff out to you guys as like literally as soon as it comes out. And I just haven't had that opportunity this week. I really like that Bo Jackson. I am a Huge Bo Jackson fan. And if you are new to the channel and haven't seen it, Panini owed me a Bo Jackson uh, redemption, auto redemption, auto relic redemption for quite a while. Because of good vibrations of Turner, that pack was kind of a dud. And they uh, finally, I was able to get a hold of someone after, I'm not kidding, four years, four years waiting for a redemption. And finally heard from them. Oh, we got a backwards Shane O'Mac. So this is going to be something different. It's a blue foil. And then the, I like that. That's cool. The bionic arm of Cal Ripken Jr. I guess we'll put the blue foil in the orchestra. Anyway, they sent me this crazy Bo Jackson uh, auto relic. And it's weird because the, there's Chris Bryant. Original one that I pulled was out of baseball, but they sent me a football one, but I am not complaining. I will be shortly posting a video in which Chris Bryant was signing at spring training. And I finally got him on camera. I've been having a lot of camera issues for whatever reason, whenever he was signing, but we got it this time. All right, here's an insert. I don't know if this is gonna be an auto. No, it's Mr. Met. That's cool, whatever. There's a foil of Rafi. And we're going to have a few backwards cards in here. Upside down to the moon of Jordan. And then, is this a black foil? Yeah, that's to 25, Key Brian. So that's probably the best card we've pulled so far. Keep the LA Rookie cards together. Key Brian Hayes, you Pirates fans, if you want that card... Let me know. We can work out a trade for it. 
Ah, friend of the channel, Justin Lawrence. Hey, J-Law. Bringing it. Love the side armors. I hope that he ends up their closer. When they broke camp, I don't think they had figured it out, or at least they hadn't announced it. I would really like to see him be the closer. Super nice guy. Good vibrations of Bryce. Super nice guy, and uh, he did a little spot for the channel early on. He's actually getting his autograph as a rookie of Davis early on in spring training, and uh, there was a card that he had not seen before, and he asked me about it. And I said, oh, please keep it, find a different one. So he really appreciated that. Apparently his wife collects his cards. And so I was very happy for him to have that. All right, we kind of skipped right over Julio. It's always good to see Julio. Here we have another mascot. I think it's hilarious that the mascot for the White Sox is named Mascot. <laughs> it's not very, not very original, but okay. All right, we've got an Austin Wells rookie card. And it looks like we got another black card. This one's gonna be Ricky Henderson. This one does not appear to be numbered. TBL 22. So it seems like TBL 28, TBL 22, but definitely different black border Ricky Henderson. That's a really good looking card. I used to love those neon batting gloves he wore. I was a big fan of those late 80s A's teams. They had so many fun players. McGuire, Canseco, Ricky. Very underrated, kind of forgotten to history. Walt Weiss, Dave Henderson, Dave Steinbach, Eckersley, of course. Hey, that's cool. It's a Sal Frelick foil, and it appears to be an image variant as well. Let's uh, take a better look at this. Oh, it's a different card. Okay, of course. Sometimes they they do more than one card of the same player in big league. And I just noticed that Bade Boggs has fallen down in the background. We'll have to resuscitate him at some point. There's my boy Tristan. We'll put him in the orchestra just because I like him. Kerstad pulled his rookie out of Bowman. Okay, become a big leaguer. So this is one of the contests that they do. So that one I believe is one every box. Jazz foil, that's cool. And so, not really a lot out of that first box. Nothing to write home about. I guess the Cabrian Hayes, the 25 is pretty cool. I'm glad we got a couple of Ellie cards, uh, but yeah, that's, you know, again, kind of the risk with this product is that it's a lower end product. It's It's got a lower end price point. So what ends up happening is you don't have as much in the way of, there's Julian rookie. You don't have as much in the way of like, is that his rookie? No. Relics, autos and all that stuff because the relics cost money. You know, they got to buy those game used jerseys. Christian Walker foil. We got a rookie here that's backwards. This is going to be an auto. It's Tampa Bay Ray. Did we pull Junior Caminero again? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Mm, that's fantastic. Let's go. Just as I was telling you guys, you're not guaranteed anything good out of here. Junior Caminero, for those of you not aware, is a very hot prospect for the Rays, arguably the number two prospect in baseball. He's letting us know he's the number two prospect in baseball because uh, Jackson Holiday, of course, is number one. And Caminero, like Holiday, almost made the big league team out of spring training. It's not numbered. It looks like it should be because it's kind of green. Sticker auto is not optimal, but I really don't care about that at the moment. I'm really psyched. That's awesome. So fans of the channel know that I don't open a lot of Panini products. I'm not a big fan of Panini at all. However, 
I do open, I'm just gonna get a little more efficient here. I do open some, just so that you guys can get a look at new products. And in this particular case, I opened a box of, I think it was Prism, I don't even remember. It was some Panini product. And we pulled and it, it was one of those, this box averages one autograph, you know, the average thing, they don't guarantee it. But I just wanted to show you guys the product and I was, I just didn't have anything else to open. So I bought one at Walmart and it had a Caminero auto in there. And also very early days of the channel, I got a, a box of retail Bowman in uh, flag and in Flagstaff at Target. And I got a on card first Bowman Chrome auto of him. That's a cool Mason Wynn rookie insert. Not numbered, but the blue border tells me it's unusual. They have all kinds of inserts and just different styles of border. There's a Juan Soto New York Yankee. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen him in that before. AJ Smith Shire is a decent, Shaver, excuse me, is a decent rookie. Oh, there's Junior again. For a hot second, I thought we had another auto, but no. So Junior Caminero, aside from just being an awesome prospect, uh, there's Corbin, is someone that I've now pulled an auto of three times. Incredible luck. There's Jason. And I tend to become fans and start to PC guys if I just happen to pull them a lot. But that is dialed in. There's another foil frelic. Say that three times fast. Another foil frelic, another foil frelic, another foil frelic. I did it and I just woke up. Can you do it? Try it. I bet you can do it. I believe in you. All right, guys, we've got one more stack to go. There's another Ellie rookie. Loving all the Ellie rookies. Another become a big leaguer. I'm extremely pleased. I'm assuming we're gonna pull like one more numbered card or something. Uh, but yeah, for, <laughs> I don't know if they're doing it the same way this year. Last year, it was an autograph on average every two boxes, two hobby boxes. I got these boxes at Valley Wide Sports Cards. If you're interested, there's a video of Valley Wide Sports Cards uh, tour on the channel. And so it's, it's a cool store down in Phoenix. I really like it. One feature I like for those of you who live in Arizona that you need to know about Valley Wide Sports Cards is that they will let you buy stuff online, pay for it online, and then pick it up in the store, which yesterday was incredibly convenient because I was on my way down to Phoenix to pick up uh, some folks at the airport. And it was very helpful that I could just pop in and be like, hey, this is my order. Guy grabbed it. I was in and out of that store in 100 seconds flat which kind of a bummer because I would have liked to hang out in there because I like that store, but I really wanted to get you guys this. And because of all the aforementioned family stuff going on, I just blew it. I just didn't get out in front of it and order it from Dave and Adams in time. So uh, very happy that I was able to get a hold of some of this and show it to you guys. That's a cool uh, blue border Acuna. So I guess we can knock Adley off, put that one up. A foil of Strider, that's orchestra worthy. See, I love those stores that just make it super easy. Good vibrations of trout. So as you can see, just two boxes in. Stage is very full. Orchestra is very full. Mason Wynn. I'm liking it. Obviously that Junior Caminero Auto is the best card in here that we've pulled. I don't know if Holiday has autographs in here or not. I'm gonna to need to check. If Holiday doesn't have autographs in here, I think we just pulled the best autograph in here, certainly as far as rookies go. I'm gonna slow reveal this one because I happened to get a look at it from the back. And that is awesome. Julio Rodriguez. Now, seeing all of these blue borders is making me think that these cards, that this particular insert is all blue borders. So we'll just kind of put those together. I guess I'd hoped, there's a gunner foil, second year card. I guess I'd hoped that the blue border meant something that I don't think it means. This went by KB in his 
Rockies Uni. But yeah, I should be posting that Rockies video. I have a couple more videos to do before then, but I should be posting that sometime, I'd say, in the next week. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, my boy. I actually got Sedan Rafaela on my fantasy team to play shortstop until they call up Jackson Holiday, whom I also got. A little known fact for those of you fantasy baseball players, if you've got an injured shortstop, you need someone to fill in. I think Rafaela is going to give you good value at shortstop. You know, he's going to get lots of at-bats. He's got a little speed. He's got a little power. He's I. Right. Okay. Let's do a review, shall we? Very pleased with how we did. Very, very, very pleased. We We rocked it. We rocked it. And actually, I think I might have misspoken because if Ellie has autographs in here, then obviously that's a better autograph, or even Jason Dominguez than Caminero. So we'll say we got a top five autograph at least. Maybe, maybe better. Maybe a little better. All right. Uh, where are we at on time? I'm, not, I'm actually not going to review the, the orchestra cards. You can see them. They're cool gonna wrap up the video sounds like I have a dog that either needs to come in or, or out I don't know if you heard that in the background so just a lot of fun and so this is just a fun rip I love this product just fun so many different colors and varieties and we got we got two Dominguez we got three Ellie de la Cruz we got three Junior Caminero and that's the granddaddy right there that makes me very happy He's just my guy now. I mean, he just is. All right, everyone. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that rip as much as I did. I'm going to get this into post-production quickly and get it posted. Happy Saturday. If you have a wonderful weekend and keep that big smile on your face because baseball cards are awesome. And Noma loves you. Friend of the channel, Justin Lawrence. We pulled your card today. Take us home, baby. Hey, this is Justin Lawrence from the Colorado Rockies. You're watching Noma loves you.